Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome color grading lesson. And not too while ago I posted a message on the Facebook asking you guys what next color grading tutorial you want to see. And I've been asked this before and it seems that a lot of you have questions about having a proper exposure for the skin tones. So I'm going to do a little tutorial on that. Before we start, I want to say a special thank you for Derek Brandon for providing me this awesome footage that's been shot on Red Epic Weapon. This is actually 8K file, really, really huge. And, you know, I'm not going to go too much into actually creating the look. I'm just going to try to get a standard Rec. 709 look in the Aces color space. That way we're kind of working with the most accurate sort of neutral settings. And in order to do that, go to the color management and over here find Dragon Redlock Film. And your output is going to be Rec. 709. Click save and we just transformed our footage into proper most accurate Rec. 709 look. That's the beauty of Aces. So before we start let me give a, a slight kick in the shadows that way we're not clipping anything. Okay so here is the footage of a girl it's a um, very cool shot very nice light. And where is the perfect skin tones? Well, actually, by default, the way it's been lit is the perfect skin tones. This, the exposure is absolutely spot on. So how do we find this? How do we find what is a good exposure? Well, you know, a lot of times it's very difficult to find it on your waveform or even in RGB. It's kind of, you know, if you not experience it's really impossible to say where, where the hell is skin and what's going on you know the vector scope pretty much measures the saturation and the color so one cool way to do it there's a plugin by time in pixels and you can download it for free it's really awesome plugin i personally use a small hd dp7 monitor that's in the corner and I use my monitor, I just posted the picture actually on the Facebook, specifically for the false colors. Basically, this monitor tells me a good skin tone exposure. If you don't have the luxury of having additional monitor, you can download that free plugin. And basically, let me find it really quick over here. There we go. Okay, too much stuff going on. Okay, so I dropped this and basically now we have visual representation of our exposure. And this is the awesome part about this plugin. You don't have to be looking, you know, at the scopes, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. You simply drag the plugin and you have basically everything visually in front of you. And there is a chart over here from 0 to 100, basically just like your waveform. And over here we can see that the face is somewhere around, I would say, let's zoom in really quick, I would say between... I would say between 500 to 600, so between 50 and 60. That's the perfect exposure for the face. And if I turn this off on my small HD monitor, the exposure looks absolutely spot on. So this is pretty much when I work, this is my perfect settings. The exposure exactly like this. I think it gives the skin most natural settings. You can actually go a little bit lower. Let me create another node. You can do a little bit lower and go for example, do something like that. And the skin exposure is still correct, but then you're sort of introducing the darker side of exposure. So the skin is barely on the borderline between being too dark and still well exposed. Like for example, a lot of uh, Terminator Genesis have exposure exactly like this. So if I'm gonna bring it up, this is pretty much our ballpark, like right over here, a little bit lower. So this is a perfect exposure. And let me show you really quick the Terminator shot. That way we kind of can compare the exposure and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the shot uh, I took from the internet, from the Google of Terminator Salvation. Here's we have Amelia Clark screaming, shooting at the liquid metal guy. And if I'm going to create a new node and basically going to do the same false colors, we can see that the exposure is pretty much in the same ballpark. So we have sort of grayish face from dark to gray. We have a little bit of green and the highlights a little bit pink. And if we're gonna go over here, we can see that it's been, it's somewhere between 50 
to about 60 exactly how our previous image is so to me this is a very perfect skin exposure actually in this movie they go a little bit even lower in many cases but that's pretty much hopefully it answers all you guys questions thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and more tutorials coming soon take care